10 goals difference between those two games. Hej, varmt välkomna till HFV. I denna video ska vi vara på plats på den allsvenska premiären i Göteborg 2024. Welcome back to EFV. Allsvenskan is finally here, so the expected is coming, of course, the premier day of EF Göteborg. The club I visited, the first in this country, the experience that opened up so many possibilities, and here we are two years and a half later, a channel focused entirely on svensk football. The premier hell, premier weekend in Sweden is a huge celebration, just like I mentioned in yesterday's video, Hammarbyggas Kalmar. Experienced it two years ago, last year had to be skipped unfortunately but this time here we are again ready to rock the streets of the second largest city in Sweden. The premier game itself is an absolute banger EF Göteborg against Jurgården CF Gothenburg against Stockholm always a prestige game. It couldn't be better for the channel either because this is exactly the game which started this whole journey back in 2021. Now you have dedicated playlists to both these teams let me recommend them links in description. Known as Blue Wit, the two times UEFA Cup winners are the team I support in Sweden as a private person as a content creator I try to remain impartial in every single video. Facing each other in the Swedish Cup a month ago Jurgen brushed EFK aside to win their group. Now they are in the cup final after a semi-final derby win their supporters could enjoy quite a lot of content recently on this channel since I managed to interview their fans favorite goalkeeper as well. I'm buzzing to be back in Göteborg for the premiere we'll try to deliver the quality you deserve and of course cover the march from Göteplatsen. Let's go! Jutta Platsen, 1st of April, the premier day 2024 of EF Göteborg. Here I am with Smot Oblot, which is a podcast which was founded this year, if I'm correct. Yes. Tell the viewers, guys, what's the idea behind the, the podcast? So we were playing one night and we came up, kind of just came up with the idea that uh, it would be fun to start a new podcast and that's kind of, you know, the whole history behind it. What are the, the long-term goals with the, with the podcast? We just do it for fun, you know, uh, and it's just fun for us as well. Uh, to just talk about Blåvitt, as we love. Yeah, get closer to the club is also very fun for us. We've all supported Blåvitt for a kind of long time, so we think it's fun uh, being around the club as much as we can. We do it for fun and uh, hope that it goes as good as possible. You guys asked me the same question, so I'll drop it back now. How do you think the season will go? I think there will be a lot of improvements this season. I think maybe ninth place, as I predicted in our uh, tipping. We've gotten in some really good players. I think Malik is going to be very important this year. Yeah. Player. How do you think the, the game is going to go today? Oh, I think maybe 1 0 to blow it. Not a high scoring game. Who's your favorite player and why? I'd probably say so far, probably Malik. I think uh, for his age, he's a very kind of complete player. He, he really wants to win the ball and he's not been here for so long. And I think um, for the time that he's been here, he shows passion. He shows that he really wants to play for the club. And so that's I think that makes him my favorite player. Guys, thank you so much and best of luck with the podcast in the future. We'll see quite some uh, madness, I think, in about an hour here. We'll see each other soon. Link in description for their uh, podcast, obviously. Away supporters, Jurgen supporters here in uh, Göteborg. Guys, the last three games here weren't the best for Jurgen, but at home you always won uh, comfortably and you have a really strong team now. You're in the cup final and according to me, you're one of the title contenders. Is it different this year than last year? Can you do even stronger? Yeah, of course we can do. Uh, we can be better always. I think uh, last year we uh, it was the, the, all the teams were great, but uh, I think today we got a good team, so we can uh, we can be in the top, of course. Who do you think can be decisive in today's away game against the FK Göteborg? We have many great players this year, uh, like the player we signed from uh, Ferencváros. Tokmak, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. I think he can uh, he can show us. With something. I say 2 0 Yugon. 2 1 to Yugon, and uh, my new favorite player is to be a yeah, And uh, Magnus Eriksson.
Welcome everyone once again to Gamla Ullevi. As you see, we're seated a bit close to the Jurgården supporters now. It's the third game on the channel, EF Göteborg Jurgården, in this stadium. And once I was in the middle, once I was really close to the home supporters section, now uh, it came by the ticket sale that I could, I could get one here, which is uh, closer to, to, to the away section. So it's balanced in that sense. There'll be a whole stadium TIFO. I can't wait for it. Obviously the away TIFO as well. We're gonna have really good view on that. Uh, so nice to be here. The marsh is great as well. Let's go. Incredible TIFO, as uh, goosebumps already announced now to Net Poseidon starts. Joel Alme is here in person. He is ready for it, everyone's ready for it in uh, Gamla Ullevi. Look at that, even young fellows have their own part of the TIFO, that's amazing, that's amazing.
Cool Bain to the front, number 23 of EF Göteborg from Iceland, 27th minute, he gets his second yellow, he's uh, that sort of aggressive midfielder and it has uh, it has caused the whole team now, he already caused an injury to Rasmus Schuller who, uh, who had to go off and God knows how long he'll be out, but now another tackle, it's not as severe as, as the previous one for the Jurgen player, but uh, red card for Turashon. It's, it's really, really silly what he did. EF Göteborg were, uh, even though being the weaker team on paper, they were in the game pretty well, but now this red card can just flip the whole thing to the other side and uh, you'll have to defend different, have to attack differently as well. So Jurgen supporters are now totally living the, the experience because this gives them 90% chance of, of uh, winning the game now. of the 38th minute penalty for Jurgen. It took like 10 seconds for the referee to make the decision, but I saw it as handball as well, to be honest. Typical EF Göteborg first half. They started well, quite strong to be honest. Then the red card and the penalty. It was converted confidently by uh, the captain of Jurgen, Donia Son, central defender. He's right in the middle. Keeper went left. 1 0 Jurgen, 39th minute. Textbook header from Berwald to double the lead of Jurgen on the brink of half time. We could see that uh, his heading is really good in the cup semi final derby as well when they played Oiko. EF Göteborg started really well, I must say, better than expected. And uh, they even pressed Jurgen at some point, but then uh, the, the silliness of Turashon uh, took the to the effect on, on this game, the penalty for uh, for Jurgen. From that point on, they were up and uh, played with more confidence. This is that sort of uh, rubbing salt into the wounds by uh, by Jurgen and this this late goal and doubling their lead because their attacking job for today is as good as done. They have excellent attacking players, but from now on, if they just defend against uh, ten men, EF Göteborg, then they can comfortably march into the to the win. So right now at halftime, I feel it's well, it's not over, but uh, but as good as over, I would say. But I hope that uh, we can see some great atmosphere in the second half. From now on, it's it's just uh, tactics. I must say that uh, Malik Jalkui of EF Göteborg, the 18-year-old, he's basically playing in two positions. He's running a lot, so he's definitely one uh, EF Göteborg should take care of really well because he's the, the next big talent of the club. He's been absolutely outstanding. But let's see what this uh, second half brings. Really limited possibilities remaining for the home team. 
and the away supporters will carry on enjoying their day of course a short service announcement before we continue traveling to create football content is incredibly special but it takes up a lot of time effort and money please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's patreon page you see on screen and in the description if you don't have the intention of sending money please support hfv with a like a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts if you're a teenager you just ignore what i said and spend the amount on yourself same what i did at your age don't forget to check out the channel's social media either let's carry on Seventy-second minute, three nil. Jurgen, they they enjoy it to to the fullest now. It was a it was a pretty random situation after the corner, but it ended up with a clear shooting chance, which I managed to record only the last part of. And now that the banter is going on, 100% from the Jurgen supporters. So first there was uh, blow with Okerud, which means Jeff Kotovar is going down to Superet on the second tier. Then there was Ni uh, Sommer from Göteborg, Oker Altihemisor. You who are from Gothenburg, you always go uh, home with sorrow or sadness. And then the last one was Glad Post Göteborg, which means Happy Easter. And there we have the total humiliation now. Gulliksen with his, should we say, signature celebration because it got so famous after the semi final against Aiko after the penalty. 76th minute, 4 0. So back to the Glad Post Göteborg chant, which uh, we'll definitely hear again. That's what the uh, EF Göteborg supporters sang in 2009 when uh, they won against Jurgården in this arena 6 0. So there are literally 10 goals difference between those two games. 15 years ago and, and uh, this one today. Then the EFK Göteborg supporters wished happy Easter to Jurgoran. And obviously it's in their memories, so now, yeah, you can hear it. Pretty easy finish for Gulliksen from close in. One of the biggest talents of Jurgoran, probably second biggest after Berval.
Rummet reducerar. Det är fyra ordskytt nummer 11, Paulus Abraham. Så so at least once today we could hear the Hea Blue with Gold Celebration song. Paulus Abraham after the Alcu shot which came out of uh, Zetterström. Two new players, sort of, because the Alcu was here in the squad before. But Abraham has a new signing, scores for uh, Blovit in his first Alsenskan game. And at least something to take home for the home supporters. 84th minute, 1-4. adore this whole culture even though you know who I support it's not the most pleasant right now but uh, from content creator perspective it's uh, it's amazing as always this whole stadium choreography of EF Kötebor oh my god nuts Composition, details, execution, full marks Tifo Group. Compliments for the Jurgård and Tifo as well. Being the away side, they did a pretty decent job. Splendid. As always, all the supporter efforts. Outstanding. Now, what should we talk about next? To Dachon, or as former club icon Bernblom calls him, Iceland. First, causing an injury to Schuller. The lad will be out at least until the summer. Then, 27th minute, going in a tackle with a yellow card, totally off rhythm. If you watched the game or the highlights, you saw he wasn't even near the ball. Nowhere near. It's just stupid. I'm asking myself ever since, why? Two tackles, two yellow cards, 100% effectiveness. The three points were basically offered to the away side after that. Before the penalty, Jurgen struggled a bit. They didn't really turn up, but after that, they really took the game by the scruff of the neck. They were totally dominant. The funny thing is that out of the little what EFCO had, they still could have made much more of it with shooting. The first shot by the home side to hit the target, 84th minute. What has come of it? A goal. Wow. I already linked a lot of videos for you guys. The Sweden playlist where all the content is collected will be shown in the end in the 24 second outro. If you like the documentary, join me on social media. All possibilities on screen. I was HFV as always. Talk for your dog. Always an honor being part of this. Take care of yourselves. We'll see each other pretty soon. Hello.